Okay, we've got an epilogue. Okay. Epilogue time. Ah, oh, the baby was born. Okay. I guess they both get their happy endings. That's what this ending is. Wow. I'm surprised at that. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? I got you. Yeah, it's okay. We're good. Wow. Holy shit. That was a, that was such a crazy manic ending. And just so many things happened there again in such a short space of time. Like Tommy we had Tommy's thing where he just you know, he managed to fire off a shot and then got himself shot in the face. Then Abby went for Ellie and she was like, Well, you killed my friends, I'm not gonna show any mercy on you and we literally spent the entire half of Abby's half seeing her friends get killed as well. And people she cares about. And obviously they literally built up the entire relationship with Owen. And then we had Ellie kill Owen. So it was like this big... Hold on. Hey, you like these guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they got some crazy hair. They built that entire thing up only for Abby. Like Abby was going to do it. And then Tommy got in the way. Then they fought. And then um, because of Lev, who gave... Abby the map in the first place, knowing what that was going to lead to, then Lev suddenly said, no, don't do it. And then Abby had a change of heart again and let them live this time. So I've never seen such a story where like they've been so hell-bent on revenge and they've worked so hard to give us like motivation for revenge. Like, literally the entire second half was to try and like get us to understand why Abby cared so much about what happened to her father and like what kind of person she was, the fact that she was a person that maybe didn't deserve to have her father killed that way, and how much she cared about her friends, how tight a unit they were. So when you see that not only Ellie killed, and Ellie and Tommy, I guess, you know, she doesn't really know, but not only that, like, not only what happened to her father, but Ellie also killed everyone that she cared about in terms of her family, in terms of her friends, then to have all of that stuff, and then, like, seemingly on a whim, literally when the knife is on Dina's neck to say... Nah, I'm going to move on from this. Is a little bit odd. I mean, at least she she had the lev factor, you could say. I still don't it, it's I still find it difficult to to believe that she wouldn't she wouldn't do it, but with Ellie it was, it was even stranger when she decided to give up and go back to go back to Jackson with Tommy and those guys. Like that was worse. But I don't think this one was was perfect either. So yeah, narrative wise like this whole like preaching of like the whole like revenge thing and like and all that stuff i feel like yeah i don't know like they, they just work so hard to to give you everything in terms of like that story of revenge and really get us into invested in these characters and, and then whenever they get a chance to exact revenge they always seem to walk away it's like okay but hey at least we've got jesse jr who's that handsome fella huh But everything being said, I am I am glad that we've got this sort of situation here because I feel like Ellie's just been through so much and Abby has been through so much that both of them just deserve to just, you know, just go and flipping start a new life and just forget about all this shit. Because it, it ultimately it got you nowhere. So Dina! I'm in the kitchen. Okay. But before that, let me just explore more of this house. So despite like the the execution of some of the stuff, it's like okay, fine. Got another one of these. Again. <sighs> Man, tough crowd. Holes, holes around Mars. Yeah, really, I do love that Ellie's so so into space. It's something that I really relate to with her. Say hi 
hi to your Auntie Talia. Hi, Auntie Talia. Wait, what? Oh, t for a second I, I thought it was the baby, but I think it was just her impression. <laughs> Ashley Johnson's a great voice actress. No pun intended. There you go, joke book. Yeah, this is this is it, man. This is Ellie's life. I like it. Explorers and travelers. I was trying to see if there's a photo of Joel. Um, she, we started the scene with the watch, but I don't think I've seen a photo of Joel yet. Anywhere in the house. Oh, what's up, you little goobers? <laughs> hey. Thanks for doing the dishes. You can thank me by putting on some music. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. My dear Dina, thank you for your letter and the photograph. JJ's gotten so big already, he's got Jesse's smile. If he's anything like his dad, well, good luck. I can't wait to visit you. My back has been acting up again, but I'm on the mend. The doctor still thinks I need a few more weeks of rest. As soon as I can, I will be there. I appreciate the tender words in your letter. I will say what I hope is obvious. Jesse wouldn't blame you for what happened, and neither do any of us. We love you. You're part of our family. Be well. There will always be a place for you, Ellie, and JJ. Back in Jackson, should you ever change your mind. Love, Robin. The people of Jackson just so freaking nice. They, the Haven is actually Jackson. Like Jackson is a real haven. E everyone we've seen other than the people in Jackson have just been absolute fuckers. Got some tunes. Tunes. Ah, oh, you want a boogie, huh? All right. All right. Oh, fuck yeah. I love this song. <laughs> Your mom is very easy to please. <laughs> I'm with you. My bar is very low. The best kind of people. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, look at those moves. These moves? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at mama go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> This is kind of working on me. You're weird. I'm aware. Okay. Okay, <laughs> you're distracting me. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. I think I left Ollie outside. You mind bringing him back in? Yeah, sure thing. Well, we got a dog. I'm sure we got a dog. I mean, I feel like that's going to be some way to, to make up for the fact that we had to kill Alice. Okay, well, we can't get out through here. Where is he? Pretty sure he's on the tractor. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's a dog then. It's the hand of Fatima again, by the way. The thing that Ellie had on her What's wrist. Pressure? <sighs> Looks so pretty. Extremely isolated, but I guess if you got your family, that's all you need. Really nice. Yeah, despite it all, I mean, of course, I do like this sort of more feel-good stuff. It's nice. It does feel like a, a fairly natural place for this story to end up. I mean, if they have gone down the whole, you know, revenge ends up leading you nowhere, you'll lose everything. If you go too far down the path of revenge, then I think, you know, regardless of some of the execution things that I'm not extremely happy with, I guess it did, it did end up at the right place, I think, eventually. Maybe not in the right way, but it got there. What the hell is Ollie? Uh. Oh, it's, it's a toy. Hey, Ollie. What are you doing out here? Hang on, buddy. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty right. Hey, you know what? 
I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar when your hands are bigger and you're not pooping your pants all the time. It's all right. Everybody does it. Well, she learned a few things from Joel, for sure. Got a lot of stories to tell you. When you're older. <sighs> Much older. Don't tell him the one about his dad getting shot in the face. I don't even know where to begin. Roll credits. Is this a dream? All right, little spud. We should go check on Mama. I'm starting to get a little bit worried now. Like it hasn't ended. <laughs> Is this a dream? I hope not. Maybe they both died there. Who knows? I mean, Tommy's fucked. Jesse died. Ellie was beaten to within an inch of her life. Dina got an arrow through the shoulder. Maybe they bled out and died then. This is a future that never happened. I mean, they have been so cynical so far that <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was... That I'm going to go case. hang up the laundry. There's Jesse, by the way. Oh, Come say hi. We will. Some of that good old farming. Butternut squash. They're doing pretty well. Does he need his jacket? No, he's fine. More? You can tell me to stop. Should I stop? Okay, enough. <laughs> Seriously. Damn, Ellie too horny these days. Oh, baby lamb. Lambs are so cute, man. You want to pet him? Here. Oh. All right, there you go. It's been so long oh, since oh, we saw oh. something gentle, wholesome. Gentle, gentle, Just like that. Oh. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Hey. I'll take him. Can you get the sheep into the barn? Oh, I got him. I can do it. Yeah? Yeah. Won't you rest it up? <laughs> okay. Here. Come on. Put you in there. Don't stay out too long. You still need the bath. I'm like the herding master. <laughs> okay. Final boss bell. Herding sheep. Listen up, sheep. Your dinner awaits you in the barn. So, come on. Snowy. Barn time. Come on, Busy. sheep. Head on in. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of sheep. Yeah, you guys got a... How many do you think that is? Let's count. One, two, better stop because I'm getting sleepy. Come on, guys, what the hell? Get your asses Eugene. in there. <laughs> Eugene. Hey, hey, inside, inside. There you go. Todd, move it or lose it. <sighs> There's always one straggler. Way too many sheep. There you go. Hey, what do you say we eat some of them? <laughs> Tasty snack. Literally, as a lamb walks enough, right buddy. by. Nice job, JJ. We did it. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, 
How'd you get out? Oh, I've got a horsey here. Can't pet the horse. At least we got to pet a, a baby lamb. A lamb, so it's nice. Come on, little dude. Oh! Oh, no. PTSD. They're not gonna let her. They're not gonna let her have the happy ending. Fuck. You see what I mean? If this is the case, why would she have ever given up on Abby in the theater in the first place? Why? excitement in a while. Hmm? Yeah, but it's just there all the time. Never leaves. So I was wondering about Joel's pictures in there, like whether he'd have anything. Because cause the scene started with his watch, I was thinking that, you know, might be, um, there might be like a picture or two of him in there. And I guess what we saw based on that is the fact that obviously she's still mentally damaged from, from what's happened to, to Joel. And that's that to me seems perfectly understandable. And it's something that will haunt her and just terrorize her for the rest of her life. But she's trying her best to kind of put it behind her and try and live a happy and normal life with people she loves and that's why I guess there are no pictures of Joel maybe in the house because I guess the less things that directly remind her of him then the, the less chance of those attacks happening and fucking with her mind but again like even you know after all this time you know the fact that she's still alive um, she, co she confronted Abby and Abby still and Abby let her live, let Dina live. Now they have their happy ending together. And despite that, that's still not enough. It's still messing with her brain. She's still having these like terrible attacks and you know all that, all of that kind of stuff. Again, it just it just makes the what happened at the end of the first half of the game even less believable in my eyes. I just I just could not, I just could not see how she was so ready to to give up the the, the pursuit of Abby because literally that happened. You got to remember that happened literally days after Joel was killed. Literally days. So that's why, like her walking away, her and Tommy being so ready to walk away after just a few days of trying to get revenge against Abby just never hit right with me. It just never did. And to me, if anything, what we see now just reinforces it even more. So I don't know. But I mean, where are we gonna, where are we gonna go from here?
Okay, so let's head back in and see what we got left of this. I'm still not fully sure where the story's going with this, but I mean, clearly right now it's, sh it's showing like the struggle between Ellie trying to choose a happy and more normal life versus the fact that she just cannot get what happens to Joel out of her mind. And it's just haunting her and terrorizing her. Maybe not all the time, but at times. Hmm. Is that? I thought that was her horse, but it might not be. Yeah, I don't think that's her horse, actually. Hey, where you been? Hunting. Took a little longer than I thought. Who's here? Uh, just come inside. Ow. <laughs> Ow. What the? That's quite a bit you got there. Oh, shit. Hey, Tommy. There you are. Here, let me take it. Come here, bud. Oh, yeah. Go. Here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you. Mm, you too. He's getting heavy. No, he's <laughs> just a big ball of muscle. Hmm? <laughs> Town's good. Maria good? Oh, she's fine. We, uh... We're taking some time apart. Hmm. Sorry. Nah. We talked about it a lot, and, uh, yeah, it's what we both want, so. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Come sit. I got something to show you. So I've been putting out feelers for months now. And this new guy heard my story. He told me about a woman that he traded with while he was moving through California. Described her as built like an ox, traveling with a kid with scars across his face. He said they're living along this coast in a beach sailboat right here. That's got to be her. We're done with that, so. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I can't go. Reckon it's easy. Forget about her. You sitting all comfy way out here? Hey. I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. What a joke. Can you take him, please? Yeah. Was that? Nothing. God damn it, Tommy. You know what we've been through. I'll say it. She made me a promise. I don't fucking care. I know you don't, know, dear. That's your goddamn problem. Listen to me. Go ahead, girl.
Yeah, okay. Looks like we're going to Santa Barbara. And once again, I have mixed feelings about the whole thing because I feel like the story should have ended already. And then the story continued and then I was like, well, okay. So what they're trying to tell us here is that despite everything that we've seen, everything she's been through, the fact that she's finally ended up with you know, a happy ending. She has people that she loves and cares about. They're safe. They're happy. She just cannot, like, the, the mental trauma of losing Joel is still too powerful. And she just, um, she just can't live like that. And she has to, she still feels compelled to go and get her revenge despite everything. And that's just how powerful, infectious, and destructive the, you know, the, the desire for revenge can be. Okay, fine. So now, surely, we're going to go to Santa Barbara to kill Abby. And having played half of a game as Abby, I feel like surely that's going to become a much more difficult thing now. Because if she does kill Abby, I feel like Ellie now, she's, you know, this is going to be the whole, she's going to try and run away or like whatever. Or probably not run away, but she's going to leave. And Dina's not going to have that shit. She's going to be like, well, if you're going to leave, then I'm not. This is the end. Like, I can't have you going off to, to Santa Barbara to try and chase his revenge still. While trying to be a, a family here, it's not going to work. But the whole thing about it, again, is to do with execution. I, I, for, for this game, I think a lot of the time, my kind of overarching feeling is that I like the ideas that they have. But I just, I just have not agreed with some parts of the execution. So Tommy, again, what the fuck? Like, this same guy, when we were in the theatre, was the one that literally said to Ellie's face, let's leave, you know, we're just going to have to let Abby go. And then within 30 seconds, he's talking about the gold thing that he found for his wife in Idaho. That guy was able to forget about it. And then somehow that same dude, all of this time later, who he, first of all, somehow he's still alive. He literally got shot in the head. Apparently the bullet just went through his eye or something and he's only got blinded. Fine. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that as well. But it's like that same guy who literally, like he knows Joel has left Ellie in the hands of, of Tommy to an extent. Yes, sure, Ellie's a grown grown woman now. She can take care of herself, blah, blah, blah. But from Joel's perspective, Tommy is the only blood that, that he had. So, you know, I'm sure there was a sort of, even if it wasn't maybe overt, he would have said, Tommy, like, if, if there's ever a day where I'm not around and you are, I want you to watch over Ellie and if she ever needs anything, take care of her, blah, blah, blah. So I'm sure like as two brothers that love each other, they have that feeling of responsibility towards each other and their kin. And well, Ellie is basically Joel's daughter at this point, even if she's not by blood. So that same guy who has that relationship with Joel has should have that relationship with Ellie. And that same guy who halfway through the story thought it was okay to let Abby live and they all return to Jackson and all that stuff can now, after all of this stuff, come back to Ellie and Dina's home and try and guilt trip Ellie into leaving everything that she worked so hard to, to have or that all of the hardship that she's been through all of the tragedy, all of the loss, all of the suffering, to come into her house, sit down and say, well, I can't do it. You made me a promise. You need to go out there and get Abby. That's utterly ridiculous. I'm sorry. I, I don't buy that at all. That's not Tommy. That's not, that's, that shouldn't be Tommy. And why, why try and make us hate Tommy like that? What's the point? Why? Why even do that? It's just narratively, that's, that to me makes no sense. I get the fact that she could still be plagued enough by this entire situation to still do it, but to use Tommy as a vessel for it, like the, the catalyst for it, I think that's total bullshit. I, I don't like that one bit. So, yeah. Again, maybe like, you're seeing that and you're like, yeah, you know, Tommy's doing this because he's, I don't know, he's split up with Marie and he just, he's feeling lost and like without meaning and all that shit. But nah, I'm sorry. I don't buy it at all. You can, I'm sure there's people that will try and, you know, come up with some sort of explanation of, of, of how how that could make sense but to me just like a face value on reaction that's just not that's not right it's just not right <sighs> okay let's have a look at some diary entries maybe this will fill in some gaps 